how you doing uh bmw e38 family i'm uh making this video about the mini fridge i'm um, gonna talk about the installation how it works a uh, little bit of background how i got mine you'll be surprised because mine is actually not the original and uh but it's very close to the original i guess if i didn't tell you guys you guys probably wouldn't notice but um i'm gonna tell you guys how you can get your own uh and other stuff so uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Oh, <clears throat> before I start, I want to talk about that thing right there. So the headrest, as you know, that's the, that's where the first aid kit goes. On the actually cars that come with the fridge, that actually is where they hold the cups. Now, on the ones that, on this one, you're going to see that it opens this way for the first kit. On the original one, it opens up so you can have immediate access in view of the cups or the glasses. Now, I try to get that piece for mine, but... It's really expensive. I think it's like four or five hundred dollars to order that thing. So I'm not about to pay that. So what I did, or what I'm in the process of doing, is I I uh, I relocated the first aid kit. So I got it from a 39. Let me grab this light. And I put it the one under the seat. So I still have a first aid kit. I didn't lose that capability. And uh this light right here. I didn't lose that capability. And then what I intend to do is this is what I'm talking about. This this one opens up like that. The other one opens up the other way. So what I'm gonna do instead is is put like a foam from a Pelican box right here where you can pluck it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two cups, some custom cups, and they're gonna fit nice and tight there. And I'm just gonna make my own compartment. And then for the sticker, I'm gonna get rid of this and put a, a sticker with like a drinking cup or something, some type of better emblem than obviously the first aid kit. So that's gonna be my solution for that. I don't really care or mind if it opens the wrong way. Uh, at least from now until I can save enough money to buy the the OEM, I'm just gonna jerry rig this one. All right. So <clears throat> back to the to the fridge. So as you know, I have the the rear swivel tables on the armrest. So that kind of had to make a little bit of modifications, and I'll show you guys. So here's the fridge. And like when I say this is not the original, it's very close to the original. I had the original. And like I said, there's a lot of trial by error. I'm just your average Joe and I've learned a lot and it cost me a lot of money. So when I had the original, uh, it was in very bad shape from the interior, from the from the white part. It was uh, very worn out. Uh, so I tried to clean it as best I could and it wasn't coming off. And then on the bottom, like people put drinks and and it like it drips and people don't clean it. So it was kind of rotten. So what I tried to do is clean it at first and I couldn't clean it. So I tried to strip it down and paint it. Well, guess what? This is plastic and the paint ate through the plastic and behind plastic, there's nothing but foam. So I, after it was all tried to paint it, there was nothing but foam on there. It looked horrible. There was no, there was no saving it. So I ended up selling it. Uh, the guy thinks he can fix it. So I didn't lose money. I actually made a little bit of money off that, even even as damaged as it was, because they're so desirable. I kind of learned my lesson, so now I made a a little cutout of like a plastic that fits right there. So if I gotta put any drinks, it, it, it'll protect the bottom. So if you have a, ever get a mini fridge, I I, uh, I highly recommend you get like a little plastic or something like that to uh, that fits like nice and snug down there and will protect your drinks. Um, <clears throat> so this one is actually, I bought it on eBay and I'll show you guys the transaction and, um, uh, and it was actually from a Volkswagen, but, uh, Passat, but it said he could feed a 38. So me being desperate for anything, I said like, fuck it, I'll just get it. So let me show you guys. This is the, the original transaction. I bought this in uh, March 11, 2017. This is how much I paid for it. 
and you guys can see it's advertised for a VW Passat 3B slash 3GB and the E38 individual. So it's so old that I cannot go back and click it and show you guys the actual description of the pictures. So this is the best I can do. I guess these are the brackets for the original. You can see the wire harness right here. But I said, you know what? It looks close enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy it anyways. So this is less bulky. If you know the original has like, like the compressor like right here, it's pretty big. I had it, like I said, I had it. And this is not heavy, but the compressor is really heavy. When I got mine, I actually had it like powder coat the bottom so it wouldn't eat through the through my trunk because it was in really bad condition. So I took the bottom tray where the, uh, I guess it's called the compressor goes, and uh, and I uh, I powder coated, reinstalled it. I had it installed in a car, uh, and then I like I said I took it out. It was it was like I tried to paint it, and then the paint ate through it. Uh, like I said, luckily somebody bought it. I didn't I didn't, I didn't lose money so. Uh, <clears throat> so back to the fridge one of the main difference is that you see the button here on this one is is, is going uh i guess west to east on the region goes north and south and then this part right here where the line is it's a lot thicker on the original right so this one just go next to the battery and you just press it on and turns on and the light comes on I guess I got I got I got power the vehicle real fast. Hold on a second. And then it turns on the light. I also here in this part let me get the light right here. In this part right here, so so it wouldn't hit, I put a foam right there to cushion it so when it falls, it don't it don't strip the paint. So you can see I put it like a little like cushion strips. And then I also put some cushion strips on the on the corner so you can't see through it. And plus the car is completely black inside, so you know once it gets really dark in here you can't see anything. Uh, to install you basically I drill a hole and then I'll show you guys from the back how it looks and also this this little flap right here covers some of that stuff I had to put a, a velcro here on the bottom of the fridge right there and that covers all that right there Now it looks, it looks nice and neat in there, right? All right, let's go, let's go to the back. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the car. I don't think we need it anymore. So you you can you can hear the fridge running, and what I like this one better, it's a lot lighter, and it doesn't take this bottom part. I already pulled this off for you to show you guys. So the original, um, it takes. It takes all that space right there, you see. This entire space. This one is just nice and neat. So if I want to put like some 10s or 12s, I got I can have space on both sides. Uh, also, this my my uh, my cover here is light right underneath. No problem. Okay. And all this goes is just a uh, positive and negative cable that get put on the batteries down down here. So on. So I just ran it through behind that panel right there. And then actually you can see you can see the cable right here. And that's what powers it. So you just gotta make sure you turn it off when you're done driving. So obviously you don't drain your battery. Uh, 
here's the bolt that I did and then on the bottom as well you can't see um, also what I like is that I was just able to cut the back part of it of my carpet right there you can see I just cut it on both sides and what I did I took out the ski box but I was still able to use that frame from the ski box and I pretty much it almost fitted like snug I had them like dremel it a little bit but it fits snug to the faceplate of the fridge and then I was able to, to like just kind of replace the ski box with the fridge if it makes any sense so it looks very like flush in the back which I really like I, I was very proud of myself that I made it work actually my son is the one that gave me the idea is like why don't you try to use that so I had to take it apart dremel it but it gave me a really clean installation at the end of the day so and that was that was pretty good so there it is that's my mini fridge like I said it looks just like the original it's less bulky less heavy just as efficient and uh and this is in way better condition uh lesson learned do not try to paint your fridge <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing you will ruin it uh if you have any questions please feel free to comment uh, if you want in a specific video about something else you know we'll do the trade tables all that stuff that we had talked about in my previous videos uh, i appreciate all all your uh comments all your help i've been in the military 15 years i got very thick skin so any productive criticism you want to talk shit say whatever i'm not gonna cry or whine i appreciate you guys i, I still love you guys as family and everything so you guys helped me a lot uh this car wouldn't be where it is if it wasn't for all you guys so i appreciate it i appreciate it uh any questions uh let me know